So let's talk about sampling. Machine is probably one of the first software based samplers which can actually record samples itself. Sure, there's now a lot of virtual software samplers on the market. However, all of them are missing one key functionality which we enjoyed on proper samplers like traditional rack based samplers. Um, and that's the ability to record samples. So, ordinarily, let's say if you had a microphone, like so, and you wanted to record a bunch of weird sounds into a microphone and chop them up and put them into a drum kit you can play, it's a quite laborious process. First of all, you'd commence by opening some kind of wave editing application or recording program, or maybe you know inside of Cubase or Nuendo or Ableton, something similar. And first of all, you'd record all your sounds. The next, you'd have to splice them all out and save them as separate files, as a separate folder. And then you'd have to exit that application, then open your virtual software sampler, import those samples, and then finally they'd be available for playback. In the meantime, you may have lost the impetus of your original idea. So wouldn't it be cool if we had a device which actually had a sampling button like Machine does here, and we could record samples as easily and effortlessly as, as I'm going to show you just now. <coughs> So now, immediately, without having to you know, perform 20 or 30 mouse actions just to you know, record a bunch of samples and put them onto an instrument which is playable, with machine, it's literally button presses away. <coughs> Let's add some more pieces to the kit. I've got a good way to make a kick drum. So, machine doesn't get in the way of your ideas. Uh, basically, if you can uh, be creative with um, a bit of creative sampling, like we would encourage you to do with machine, uh, you know, basically its interface is going to allow you to just get those ideas down as rapidly as possible. In my opinion, you know, you can have a studio full of the most amazing equipment, but if you have all that gets in the way of you getting your ideas down, then it really defeats the purpose of having the gear. So let's look at some of the editing we can perform on these samples are just recorded. And so number one, if you look at the actual screen uh, on machine itself, it has a full graphic waveform editing display. So straight away this should su suggest to you that there's a lot more than just MIDI communication happening between the machine controller and the software. We can zoom the waveform and edit it without looking at the screen, which is a, an amazing thing. So let's uh, take this uh, beatboxed kick drum sample I just put in. So I'm going to uh, trim the end of it, like so, trim the start. I'm going to apply a few destructive uh, sample editing functions to it now by pressing the audio button here. So normalize, uh, we could reverse, we can uh, fade it in, fade it out, DC offset fix, so on and so forth. I want to draw your attention to the kick drum I recorded by bashing the mic in my head. So this is where we can take advantage of some of the synthesis functions inside a machine. So let's take this kick drum I made with my head and uh, we will now investigate some of the functions we can perform on it. So we can uh, tune it down, get a bit more subsonic action. Um, on the effects page, um, and this is actually effects that are inbuilt in a synthesis per pad without actually touching the uh, effects tabs, uh, we can now apply sample rate reduction, just a touch, or bit crushing, just a touch, just to dirty things up a bit. Uh, there's also a one knob compressor inbuilt into the sound uh, synthesis for each pad. There's also a drive stage. So this very kind of anemic sample I recorded by bashing the mic on my head earlier has now become this walloping great kick drum. So, um, we could now uh, gritty that up a little further. Perhaps maybe we tune it back up a bit. And maybe we'll add a filter. So there's um, also filtering on per pad basis in the machine. So we can make it a bit more woofly. Uh, we can then apply some uh, 
uh, modulation to the cutoff frequency of that filter I just added. So if we go to the uh, velocity destinations page, uh, we can now um, modulate the cutoff frequency with velocity. So this is incredibly useful.